What if you fell into a black hole? So, you're falling into a black hole. According to the laws of physics, this trip ends with you being crushed into nothing. But what if those laws have a footnote? What if the point of no return isn't a dead end, but a gateway? Let's see if the end of everything might just be the start of something else. First, you need to pick the right kind of black hole. As you approach, light from distant stars would warp around its edge, an effect called gravitational lensing. You'd also see the accretion disk, a chaotic, superheated ring of gas and dust, which is the last thing you'll see of our universe. Your choice of black hole is crucial for survival. A small one, just a few times the mass of our sun, would kill you before you even got close. Its intense tidal forces would stretch your body apart in a process called spaghettification. To avoid this, you need a giant, a supermassive black hole, like Sagittarius a star at the heart of our galaxy. It's so large that the gravity at its boundary is gentle enough to let you float across unharmed. This boundary is the event horizon, the point of no return. Gravity here becomes so strong that not even light can escape. To anyone watching from a safe distance, your journey would look bizarre. They'd see you appear to slow down, turn redder, and dim, seeming to freeze at the edge forever. From their perspective, you never actually cross. But for you, there's no jolt or sign. You just float across an invisible line. The real change is that every possible path, up, down, left, right, now points to a single destination, the center. The future is no longer a time you wait for. It's a physical place you are falling towards. You can no more avoid the singularity at the center than you can avoid tomorrow. Once inside the horizon, the spaghettification you dodged earlier is now unavoidable. The tidal forces grow infinitely strong, stretching your body apart atom by atom. This is the standard grim ending to the journey. You're shredded and then crushed into the singularity, a theoretical point of infinite density where space and time cease to exist. But this creates a major paradox. General relativity says all the information that makes you, you, is destroyed forever. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, insists that information can never be truly lost. This conflict is a sign that our understanding of the universe is incomplete, and it's where our story takes a speculative turn. What if the singularity isn't a point, but a passage? This idea dates back to 1935 with Einstein and Nathan Rosen, who theorized that a black hole could be one end of a tunnel through space-time, a wormhole. According to current understanding, these wormholes would be wildly unstable and snap shut the instant they formed. But remember, our understanding is what breaks down here. Some theories suggest a spinning black hole wouldn't collapse to a point, but to a rotating ring that you could theoretically pass through. It's all highly speculative, but it raises an exciting question. What if you've fallen not into a trap, but a tunnel? If this tunnel exists, where would it lead? You might emerge from a white hole, the theoretical opposite of a black hole, in a distant corner of our own universe. You'd have achieved a form of faster than light travel, though with no control over your destination. Or the tunnel could lead somewhere much stranger, a completely different universe, with its own unique laws of physics. You would be an explorer in an entirely new reality, with no map and no way to return home. It's the ultimate one-way trip. Exploring these ideas is what makes physics so fascinating. It's a mix of hard math and pure imagination. If you enjoy diving into the cosmos's biggest mysteries, make sure you subscribe for more. So a one-way trip to certain death might have a theoretical loophole. By poking at the gaps where our physics breaks down, we found a slim chance that an end could be a gateway. The journey through a wormhole is just a thought experiment for now, but it reminds us that the universe is far stranger than we can currently imagine. A black hole might not be an executioner, but a bizarre transportation system. The real question isn't just if you'd survive, but where you would end up.